sit and get a point. I think most nights would be happy with the point for sure, but does it maybe feel like a couple points drop with all those chances late? Uh, you know, I think I'm going to choose to be glass uh, half full to today. Um, I'm proud of my team's fight, the resiliency again uh, to come back. This time, come back from down two. Um, unbelievable, you know, fight and uh, proud of their heart and proud of all the intangible things that you want to see in your group and in your team. Um, you know, don't know how the ball doesn't go in, you know, and if one of those four or five chances where the keeper makes a save or Giassi at the back post, that goes in. Um, it's one of the best comebacks I've been a part of, one of the best wins I've been a part of. Um, and we should have, we should have won the game at the end. Um, so that's what I'm going to choose to focus on. Obviously, there's some clean, things to clean up on the goal. They scored two goals on four shots. Um, so I think we doubled their shots, and, and yet we gave up two goals. So we have to do better defensively. Was it something that you didn't expect or the team didn't expect as uh, Cincinnati really came out pressing, or uh, what, did they just not execute what you were hoping to, to tell them on the um, no, there's nothing they did that was surprising. You know, most teams are going to look to press us. And, you know, credit to them early in the game. They did a nice job of disrupting our buildup. Obviously, was, you know, we have Connor in there at left back. He's a right-footed guy. Jonah's at the left-footed, you know, as a right-footed left center back as well. And I think when we got down that side, um, they were able to squeeze us a little bit, um, gave us some problems. Um, but, again, they had, they had four shots. You know, so how much trouble did it give us? I don't know. We still, um, I thought, had the better of it. But uh, credit to them. First half, they were opportunistic. They scored a goal off a set piece and a goal off a quick cross, cross off a quick counter. Um, but what a response from our guys. How big was it to get that goal before halftime in terms of the momentum and confidence for the team as, as they go into the locker room? Yeah, it was big. Yeah, obviously, you know, when you're down 2-0, the next goal is key. You know, if they score it, game's, you know, usually done, nine out of ten times. But uh, if the opponent scores to make it 2-1, that's why they call in, in football the 2-0 is the most dangerous lead because now the psychology uh, flips on its head and now they go from thinking the game's nearly done to now scrambling a bit. And I thought um, that goal was key and I thought second half it was one-way traffic. It was all us and uh, stats show that as well. And um, we scored a great goal and had a bunch of chances. Um, and we should have won. We should have won. I think everybody knows that. Everybody in the stadium, even their fans, even their coach, they know that. We should have. I think they're feeling better with the point than we are. Um, but I'm happy we came back from two goals down. I'm happy we're fighting. Um, obviously, I'm disappointed that we didn't get the three points. And disappointed in the two goals in the first half. Jacob, just how did those two goals kind of happen there? It looks like Maddox was unmarked and the ball just kind of skipped through. What did you see? Yeah, uh, so we went to a zone with a man-to-man -man on Waston, and the reason for that is the matchups weren't good. You know, we would have had to have um, Perry marking Deplain, and we would have had to have Connor Maloney marking Maddox. So we felt it was important to have our best headers in the most dangerous spots, and then obviously match up Waston, who is the key guy. Um, and uh, Alex got dragged out a little bit of the spot he was supposed to be in. And the uh, ball went over his head, and Maddox was there to head it in. First of many, rivalry on? Yeah, yeah. I think it's a very interesting game, exciting game. What a great crowd. I want to thank our supporters for um, coming out full force and giving all they had. Uh, you know, I, it was the loudest game I've been a part of here as, as the head coach of the Columbus crew. And uh, the, the supporters made me very proud. I had goosebumps. Um, before the whistle blew, just looking at the crowd, and um, you know they did their part today. Uh, what did you see out of Eunice, uh, David, and, and Romario coming off the bench and really kind of changing the game? Or, or what were you looking for from them? Yeah, I mean, one thing you know, we went for it. Obviously, I mean, we took out Connor, we moved Pedro to left back, and you know, pushed him on basically as a winger, and, and which meant now Eunice was going to be a little more narrow and. And then we obviously flipped those two late, um, Com and him. Uh, so I, I thought they brought a push. When you're down 2-0, you got, you got to take some risks. 
Um, I didn't think the rhythm was great in the end, but you know, you got to take risks. You got to push your lines high. You got to do what you need to when you're down 2 0. And I, I thought we did what we needed to. I thought our adjustments were good. Halftime, obviously, uh, we were the better team all second half. And uh, <laughs> rewatch those last 10 minutes, and I will tonight. And um, you'll see, you know, it's, it's right there. You know, their goalkeeper stood on his head. He made two or three saves. I don't know how he made them. Uh, and then obviously the one on the back post where what a great ball by Eunice and that's a that's a sitter on a platter and I think with the guy slide tackling the last minute kind of threw Giassi off um, but I haven't watched it again but it, but it, I thought it was in I was ready to celebrate I was ready to celebrate three or four times to be honest with you I mean uh, some of the saves I mean they're in the net and he, he you know the Akam one that hits the post um, so our, my guys did everything, everything they could to, to get the three points for, the, for our supporters, everything. And I, I'm real proud of them. Um. Yeah, so this game obviously had a crazy atmosphere, over 20,000 fans. Um, what do you think set it apart, this rivalry in particular, from games we've had against Toronto, which has been a historic rivalry in the past? I mean, it's an in-state um, game. Obviously, uh, you know, when you have two cities that, uh, and, and people that live in those cities, uh, everybody wants to feel like their city's the best, you know, and uh, that, that was the reason we wanted to leave, our, leave this game with our supporters uh, uh, having three points. We wanted them on their Sunday to, you know, mow the lawn, take the family to the pool, and feel like Columbus is the best in Ohio. And I think, based on performance, I think they can feel that, but not based on the points, obviously. But uh, uh, I think for anybody that was at the game, uh, you know, to see the battle, to see the intensity, to see four goals, um, you know, I, I, I know that they're going to be coming back after this game. And I think anybody that wasn't at the game is going to probably see highlights and hear about it from the people that were here. and. Um, you know, even though we didn't get the three points, it was a very entertaining game, and I think it was a good showcase for the sport. And it's great to have this rivalry. Back to Ben. Uh, in the later stages of the second half, there, when it comes on a breakaway, and, and two different Cincinnati guys yeah. try to bring him down, and both get yellow. Have you ever seen a play like that? Two guys that yell on the same play, basically. Yeah, it's disappointing. You know, it's a it's a part of our sport I don't love. You know, that they can just kill a game. That's a professional foul. Both of them. You know, so, you know, he's in on a break, breakaway. And, you know, David Conway's running with the ball one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to create something. And I think we have to do something about those type of situations because if you know you can just foul a guy and stop basically a goal-scoring chance, um, you know, he's not the last man. And so any foul when you're not the last man, um, even though in my view it was going to be a very good chance, um, you know, it's a professional foul, and I, I don't love it. And I didn't like where the ball was set because he set it on the first foul. You know, instead of 10 yards up on the second foul. Um, and obviously, I thought the last one was a handball as well. So, but it is what it is. You know, maybe it evened out. It was, a, you know, I know it was a bit 50-50 uh, uh, on Giassi's PK as well. So, you know, in the end, I thought the referee called a, a good game. It wasn't an easy game to, to call. A lot of it, intensity in the match. Um, and like I said, it's just, it was just a lot of entertainment, you know, and I hope the fans were entertained. And like I said, I hope they come back. Uh, we have a big home game next weekend, and we need just as many fans for that game. Um, and I promise if they come out like they did tonight that uh, we'll deliver the three points, hopefully.